Okay, hello guys. Today I'm gonna show you how you open your port to play Minecraft. You just go to the start button, go to run. Uh, you also will find where uh, you push the red mouse button and then run. Then you put in CMD. And okay. Then you put in IP config and you gonna need your IP or your IP4 address just write it down on a piece of paper and you're gonna need your default gateway when you can't find your default gateway or it doesn't work look on the back side of your router it should say your default gateway and your password and just put it in and click login so this is your router page Every router page is looking different. At mine it's network and AT. It can also be security at war or at once. So go to NAT and then you go to port forwarding. You want to add a new customized port. And now you go to and the service name is going to be Minecraft. The start port is going to be two five five six five. And the end port is going to be 255652. Then the server IP address is your IP address from your computer. Make sure it's entered correctly, otherwise it wouldn't work. Then you can apply. Make sure it's active before. If you have UTC or UPC, make sure you make it for both. Sometimes you have to do it twice. And when you've done this, then you can apply. Make sure everything is in the right direction, everything is right, and when you make sure it's right, log out from your page. First, you need to download two things. You find it in the description. First, download the first thing. You just gonna click on it. So when you're on the page, you just get down, um, and you're just going to download the first thing. It's for 32-bit. When you have 64-bit. Then download it. When you're not sure, just download the first bit. So click on download and save the file. You don't want to sign up, so you just say no thanks and gonna click on the first and save the file. So when the download is finished, you're just gonna open it and it's starlet. So first next you exact the women you press typical then you go to install. It might take a few minutes. I skip that. Then there's next no window and you press next again. Next. And make sure this little thing is ticked, then finish. So next and let it there and then standard configuration next so you go and put a password in and you have to write this password and you have to remember it this is very important wait for it until it's installed and when it's installed you are finished with that then you're going to download the second link in the description so, so you're on the web homepage, then you just click download and save the file. Okay, now you're just gonna open the zip file, copy everything and paste it in. Then you go to properties, to the server properties, you don't have to change anything out of the back application, you just put in backup and to my SQL information, you go in your root, your username, you have created. When you don't have created your username, you just let by root and your password. Very important. Then you save it and you go back and you simply start your server. So it may take a little bit. So when you have no mistake, then you're good. You just go to properties, enter your name of your server, it doesn't matter which. Everything you can let where it 
is just apply and save it. Now you close it again, you go to ranks, you go to raw paste and you add your gamer name. And save it again. Then you go and start it again. So when you close it your server is going to be down. Now close it, minimize it and it's going to be down here. If you need it again. Then you go to internet browser, go to minecraft, log on Go on to multiplayer and you're simply searching for your server. There it is. You just click on it and it. And here on your server, you see here's right nothing. Okay, now you made it in your server. That's very good. Okay, now when you're in your server, you want to create a new map for all the people who want to join your server and to have their own map. So you put in slash new L L then the name of the map, guest, then dimensions. You just take the dimensions 256128 and 256 again. And then you put in flat for a normal map. So create the map very fast. Then you say t slash and then load and guest. When it's loaded, you can go to map. But first, you want to create your portal. You can create your star thing wherever you want. Doesn't matter. I'm not doing it. You don't want to see it. So portal t slash water multi now you're going to ga go to your guest level t and then guest when you're there t slash fly and you jump up two times, then you take a red block and set, set the exit somewhere. Exit block placed. Perfect. So this is going to be the guest map. You can go back, slash ye, and then main. Let's see if the portal is working. And you see it's working. It teleports you right into your guest map. Okay. So if you're back in mind, you can create whatever you want. I'm not going to create it because I already have a server. I just want to show you. And I like this. Something like this. Yeah. You can create it as well. And then you can write guest over it. And just gonna show it. Slash, write, and then whatever you want to write. Yes. Then you place two blocks in the way you want to write it. So here's guest. But it's not, it should be over there and. Okay, whatever. And um, you want not to want everyone to change this, so you're gonna make this just to be changed by operator. For this, you go back from Minecraft. So you go back to your folder where, have you where you have your server, then you go to levels and level properties, and then you can go to level properties of main. So now we're gonna end the server. So just close the server window, and then you're gonna aim, gonna change the mission build to operator. You're gonna save that. You're gonna check if it's save. Yeah, save. Then you go to back to the guest level and say the permission guest. We should be able to work on this level. Then you're ready and you know the basics. We're gonna start the server again. Go back to Minecraft. 
when it's not working then just reload the internet page and here's the server and you're gonna have your portal here to guest with guest over it hopefully you can add this as you want nobody else can change it from the guest the guest can just go into the guest level and change it the basic things when you want to delete a level because you it did a new one you just put slash delete l now l and then you just put the name from the level in um, if you want to create a new level and you don't know how it is, you just put t slash new level in and enter and then it's going to say everything you know. New level, then your map name, then the dimensions and then the type. And the type here is island, mountains, forest, ocean, flat and pixel. If you want to rank somebody, you will add rank, put the name in, the name of the player and then you want to put in the name you want to rent him. For example, Builder. Okay. Name of lines rank was set to Builder. Okay. I think this player doesn't exist, but don't. Don't mind. Never mind. Then you want to undo something. Just slash undo. It's going to put every undo. If you want to do, s if you want to ban something, we call it just doing crap. Kick him first. Slash kick. And then the player name. And when you want to ban something, and you ban, add, then the name, and you're finished. And when you want to undo something for a player, then you just put undo, the name of the player, then a zero. And it it's going to undo everything for the last 5,000 seconds from this player. It's quite a lot. This is the basic commands. I think you at first you don't need mehr, but you need friends to run the server. You go you go can't run the server on your own, it's very difficult. And you're welcome to visit my server. I'm now gonna show you my server. This is my server, it is called Suchthausen and you can find uh also in the description we have the operator level, we have of course a guest level and we have uh, advanced builder level. I can go there. I could go to the portal but I'm too lazy. So we have there on every operator uh, and advanced builder get a known level. So this is for example the level of Hackman. You can visit it but you can't change it. Out of when you get advanced builder you can have your own level can have your own big map creating your own building so I would be proud if you if I can see you soon in my server thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to rate it thanks